What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World. And EA Sports has already done it so early into College Football 25. Their first patch completely nerfed uh, Judkin. So many of you guys are going to notice a market crash going on. I've already lost 200k on this card since the actual patch. And I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on. Is he a bad card? No, he's still one of the better cards in the game. But one of the things that I noticed is he's more easily caught and he doesn't have the same type of stamina. Also, his spin move is completely nerfed. So all that spin move in 19 dudes, it'll probably happen maybe once or twice, but it's not going to be as consistent. Now, let's look at some of the abilities so you guys can understand because this is Ultimate Team. They already destroyed his card in regs. Like Ohio State was one of the most OP teams in the game. They were so OP that people actually banned them from tournaments. That's how OP it was. Now, People are going to be able to use him again because the spin move is nerfed. He doesn't move side to side the same way, and it's weird. But inside of Ultimate Team, Shifty is still the best, okay? I was never a fan of the 360, but Shifty moving side to side and maintaining the same speed, that is huge. I would recommend that on any of the running backs that you have. It, don't, it doesn't matter which one you're using. Shifty is always going to be good, all right? The side to side juke move, sidestep, is still really good, uh, but you don't need the ability because the juke is still there. You just have to remember that it's not like Madden, you have to hold turbo, and that's ultimately all you have to do. Now, going forward, some of you guys might say, okay, gee, they nerfed him, what's gonna happen next? Do we get rid of Jitkins? Absolutely not. He is by far still, like I said, I will repeat, he is still by far one of the best cards in the game, okay? Other than the other dude, the wide receiver that's super fast, he's the guy. You know what I'm saying? So although they kind of destroyed what he was, and in my opinion, a lot of what made the game fun, he still, when he gets out in front, he can still go. He just gets tied faster and he can't spin the same way. So it's up to you what you want to do, but I probably would not sell him yet simply for the fact that I think people are just panicking because what they could do, right, is drop some legends or drop a legend running back that'll probably be suitable to his speed because nobody that they have dropped yet is anywhere close to what he is. So keep in mind, also, if you go ahead and chem him up and he gets the plus two speed, 91 speed is still gonna be really, really ridiculous, uh, you know, for the remainder of this time. Also, with Madden on the horizon and dropping over, you know, pretty much this weekend, Madden is gonna be here soon. I don't really know what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe people might be frustrated with the game and turn to Madden, I don't know. I would not sell him yet though. He's still, just look at his numbers, still by far one of the better cards in the game. So I would probably focus in on other cards. Because while people are doing stuff, like getting rid of cards because they think the game is all patched up, you can be getting those cards. So we're gonna take a look at some of the other cards that are available right now and see what's happening, all right? This is ultimately what I want you guys to understand. This guy's price, okay, 601,000, 601. Yesterday, he was like 800 and something because I was contemplating raid selling him and I'm like, Yo, because, you know, Singleton is pretty decent, but Singleton has, like, what, 84 speed? And I'm saying to myself, if I sell him for 800 right now, because when they announced uh, on X that they were patching the game, I didn't know what exactly they were patching. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't really paying attention to it like that. Like, why would they bother the game and make it, like, you know, make him not be able to do what he was designed to do? How many of you guys played Madden 16? Write 16 in the comments, please, right now, because I'm going to take you down memory lane. How many of you guys remember Brashad Perriman? Show of hands, Brashad Perriman. He caused everything that's still going on right now like a butterfly effect, bro. Because Brashad Perriman was a silver card that was fast and EA nerfed him because the pro players were crying about his speed being fast in the game, which is what it's for. And it was stupid, but EA patched it. Since then, it's been like a whole system where they have, yo, the formula is to follow what people complain about. If you design a game and your intent is the way that it is, leave it alone. Don't bother it. I don't know any other company that will go crazy over what other people are saying because they want it to benefit them the way the game is. The game was fun. It is what it is, okay? I know that dudes were getting spun. Like, they, dude, I had one game where a guy spun me and I had eight guys around him. Okay, it happens. It's like an arcade game. It's college, high scoring, stuff like that. You don't take away the fun from the game just because. 
You don't do that. Like, it doesn't make any sense to do it. And I really don't understand why it happened to begin with. But here we are, boys. So now I lost 200K in one day. How much did you lose? What players got dropped off for you? Because if you had lower level running backs that you paid decent amount for, like, you know, Chris Johnson or whatever, you lost too. It ain't just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, everybody lost something because now people don't know what really to do. This is real crazy. Okay, it is real crazy what is going on right now in the market. But as far as defense goes, I will tell you this, the flats, no flounder, no SpongeBob, the flats play better. They play better. Corner routes still dominate any zone. Doesn't matter what the zone is, corner routes are still dominant. I have not been able to stop a corner route since Madden 17. And even in Madden 17, when they did the patch and they announced it, after that year, it went right back to not being able to defend a corner route. So I want everybody to under, you know, understand this, right? Everything defensively is still bad in the game, right? With the exception of the flat. They actually play the flat now. Now, this guy didn't really lose much because he was at like 540 or something like that yesterday. Because I've been watching it with my viewers. We've been trying to see like, yo, what's going on with this? Like, how many, how many, uh, you know, uh, coins did he go down? Stuff like that. So he was at 545. That's not a bad drop off because they did patch sort of kind of the rollout. So depending on the formation that you're in, they may run into the backfield a lot faster. But it's not totally patched, guys, because you can still ID that player. You can still slide protect. So you can still roll out, you just have to understand how to do it. Did they make the contains work better? Yes, they did, but you can still roll out, all right? So I wouldn't worry about it too much. It is what it is, you know, like, bro, if you wanna try to sell these cards right now, you can, whatever. I told you guys, I have a dynasty going on, the G Myers World Dynasty, so I still have to play CFB 25, even when Madden drops. So I will still be playing it, but I'm still gonna keep you guys up to date you know what I'm saying? But what's going on with it? But Madden is where I am, dude. You guys know when it comes to Madden, we are on it. We are heavy on it. It is what it is. I want to point out Max Crosby is the worst card in the game. I rage sold Von Miller because I listened to one of my dumb viewers. And now I'm stuck with this guy. And he sucks. He absolutely does nothing. And it was a waste of my time going to do that. I will look into banning the guy that recommended it. Uh, I just have to go back through my chat logs. But this guy is terrible. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. His price is still uh, tanked a little bit, 30K down from the 200K he was yesterday. As far as leveling up fast, which is why most of you guys are here, we're going to get more objectives tomorrow. I want all of you guys to be ready for it. For those of you guys that are involved in hurricanes and stuff like that, please be safe. Don't worry about it if you miss a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna still be here for you guys. And as soon as you get your stuff back up and running, you can always come back to G Myers World. But Tomorrow they're gonna to be dropping more objectives and we'll be continuing to level up, probably get to 46, and we'll see where we'll go from there. You guys have a blessed day. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.